in a grand finals, trying to make a good hunk of change. And we're going to get into loser semifinals here. Winner of this has a date uh, with Leon in losers finals. And James wasting no time. This is a character he says that he is going to use Diddy Kong for, because whoever, depending on who you talk to, Diddy Kong players, they'll tell you that this matchup is even. Yeah, you know what? Especially with the idea of not having to deal with the fact that Paltina is so good at ledge trapping Krom in particular, especially with those edge guards. Krom wants to be in the air, and Palatina is the, one of the best anti air characters in the game. Yeah, and James is a 1 in 5 record, or 0 in 5, record with Nairo. Uh, does not help him uh, at all I in, in that sense. So Yeah, I think that's definitely a, yeah. a good shining factor on that right there. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the ball don't lie, man. So here we go. Already off the gates, uh, you know, James or River's doing a very, very good job right now. So. And for a character that doesn't need to go into the air nearly as much, too, I'm oh, trying to go for the lingering hit on that side B with the kick. I like that. Trying to get the teleport to get the stage spike. Right, there we go. Utopian Rage trying to catch uh, you know, Rivers recovering. You're going to see up smash probably a lot more in this matchup because of how Diddy Kong mm -hmm. is forced to recover to the ledge. Okay, trying to get an up smash right there. Going for an anti-air option. Really sponsored Rivers by Illusion. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's an illusion, Michael. <laughs> it was an illusion. It's illusion. <laughs> All right, so how's Utopia Ray going to get out the ledge here? Pretty much. It's, that's, okay, just like that. And the confidence to get up there and just throw that banana, because that's really how Rivers kind of tore apart Ling Ling. Like, he kept yep. putting it right on the edge, baiting out Ling Ling to go for it. Baiting for a approach right there, too, punishing out a shield. Yeah, like, not many characters have, like, great answers to jump on the ledge right there. Okay, that was very smooth stuff from Rivers. Like, a low-key, an underrated buff for Diddy Kong is how his neutral air works. Uh -huh. It's kind of like baby Ike Nair. Yeah. Where, it, like, it, it works into imagination sometimes. And he almost got huge damage off it, as well as the buff to that dash attack. You see him getting consistent combo damage. It allows him to actually tech chase other than just using banana. Down tilt still very consistent. Trying to go for that Nair that you were talking about before, because at certain windows, Nair to down Nair at that ledge will true combo. There you go. Rivers once again trying to find his way in right now. And Utopia Ray just trying to get the stock off. Jay Rivers has been sitting at kill percent for a long time. Going for the Luigi killer, uh, the Smash 4 favorite, when you monkey flip kick into the ledge uh, for characters with linear recoveries. You know, still very, very good in this game. Exactly. Perfectly placed. Trying to catch uh, Utopia Ray in one of the small windows. It looked like he was trying to maybe explode the ledge yeah. and uh, trade with him there, but thinking high, uh, slightly better of it. Back throw still not killing at 157. Oh, and avoiding all the hits of the auto reticle. That was... <laughs> and in the midst of all that B reverse canceling, still got him with the, the banana. And going to close it out. Utopian Ray just trying to find his one opportunity to get a kill, but not been able to do it so far. There we go. Finally getting the back air. Yeah, Rivers doing his best impression of Icarus flying a little bit too close to the sun right there, but his wings were indeed not burned, so. Meanwhile, Diddy Kong is all about burning his wings, just flying directly at you. Good patience from there, baiting him, trying to see how he would react when the banana would land on top. That's good data as the match progresses. There you go, Utopia Ray trying to make up his ground here. There you go, Rivers once again able to convert with the banana. Utopia Ray, anytime he's been put in disadvantage, it's been nearly impossible for him to kind of get anything going. Yeah, Rivers consistently catching him with the forwarders and now getting aggressive as well, just keeping the pressure on. What's he gonna do? Goes for the Nair, trying to trying to put some pressure on here. Gonna get the back air once again, forcing him off ledge. Oh, goes for the banana grab, trying to cancel into a back air. The, the extremely long patience kind of we're getting <laughs> Utopian Ray falling asleep. Get again with the up smash and close that out. Yep, great stuff there from Rivers, a two stock. How much did it charge you? What's up? All right, going into the next game right here, we got a battle of Jersey versus NY, the Tri-State going at each other once again. Uh, a little bit, a couple people in the crowd, but we'll see PA. PA waiting to see their boy Juice trying yep. to take the tournament. Oh boy, the rare boys are here to play. Why does one of them wear pants and the other doesn't? That's my first question. <laughs> I'm asking the real pressing questions here. Why does one of them wear pants, the other one has a shirt and it's vice versa? Abs <laughs> like, absolutely. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> well, both of these two players putting in their early submissions to get themselves to Congo Saga right now, putting on a show. Hopefully this switch works out because, like you said, that swap to Diddy really being uh, the pick to deal with Palatina, and it definitely showed. 
Yeah, so let's add a, you know, we shall see. This is definitely going to be, you know, hard, stranger waters for rivers to navigate. I think the added benefit of having the rear egg uh, so that, you know, at least Utopia Ray is going to have the option to camp uh, rivers back. That's going to be huge for him here. Uh, that's an unfortunate use of the Wonder Wing right there. He's probably trying to be reverse grenade. Yeah, I think what so. my uh, guess was. Yeah, because that's one less shot that he has available on those wings right there. And especially with Rivers constantly throwing out uh, the banana in front of him or going for these really aggressive forward airs, he needs those to be able to trade with him at some point. See him stuck on the platform right now. Nice use of the banana, uh, but not going to be able to get a conversion out of it. That down tilt is so funny. Yes, it's so weird looking. It works so well. At the ledge, this should be perfect. Yeah, there's really nowhere you could go. You stay right on top of him with that up tilt. Yeah, that was great use of the uh, the down throw to the up tilt right there for Utopia Ray. And wasting no time with the Wonder Wings. Only having one usage of it left before, uh, you know, on this stock. Yeah, now he has to choose whether it's going to be for recovery or if he's just going to think about his next five because that stock is gone. <laughs> My man punched a grenade <laughs> and took and lived. <laughs> I'm a, I am now deathly afraid of Diddy Kong. Okay, that was a good, uh, very reminiscent to like Snake going for a grenade into forward air, uh, trying to find that true combo off of that, but a little bit too far out of range for him to get the punish. Yeah, just like the the, the combos we use grenades for as the up smash. We'll get the stock done right there. Like the combo's usage for grenade is just so specific because you only have such an, a lot of time to use it. Mm. Ooh, okay, but nice little conversion there from Rivers. You know, down a stock right now, but still uh, not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, even if not going for death, Rivers got so much damage out of that one edge guard right there, knowing that he that that grounded side B wouldn't have done it. I'll drawing the banana down, trying to catch him on maybe a spot that should close it out, but once again not giving it to him. He's open Ray doing so much better with the swap to the banjo. Go. Yep, there we go. The gentleman. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was a decent frame trap option he had there, trying to go for the down tilt and go for the jab on shield. But it's once he saw it, so funny, man. <laughs> so funny. I love the scream on that. Why does he sound like a grown man? He's a bear. <laughs> you know what? You're asking too many questions. <laughs> All right, Rivers going a little bit uh, too ham off stage right there. Definitely has to be cautious. Uh, you know, when trying to mess with the lily pad right there. Without thinking of every time that I accidentally fell off the side of any cliff in, <laughs> in Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> right, could be another situation. Oh, no. yep, yeah, there we go. Right up against the ledge, like the other one, he had him in the corner, so there's really nowhere else he could go. Out tilt's always going to connect when you're that hugging the ledge like that. <laughs> See, banjo is so toxic, but it's great because it's Banjo. Yes. Like, Can't hate him. I, I can't. I, I can't. Also, I, if I, tried. I can't hate him as well because he belongs to Microsoft, and Microsoft's gonna give us Master Chief. So please, God. So, so please. Um, <laughs> I, what, what do you think we're gonna see the Chrome come out? Yeah, I was actually just gonna bring that up. We could potentially see ourselves in a counter pick war now, mm -hmm. Ajax. I don't know how Rivers feels about Diddy Kong versus uh, Banjo or Krom versus Banjo. So, okay, yep, I love that. You can always tell it's going to be a counter pick war when you see the other person pick the other character yeah, first. Waiting so. for them to pick it so he can go ahead and confirm the closeout. Uh, this matchup very similar in regards to, like, say, fighting a Mario uh, yep. with a little bit better zoning. And he was just controlling space better, not needing to commit on Banana because of these grenades. So, yeah, I, exactly. I like the idea of the switch. Yeah, I think just having the added range of the, of the sword, like you were saying, like Diddy Kong's limbs, very stumpy, and Banjo hits really, really hard up close. So, mm -hmm. definitely having that and a benefit of some space uh, that you can control is going to be huge here for Rivers. And meanwhile, still looking very similar to the last match. Uh, Utopian Ray controlling the, the pace of this game. Swinging it the, the incorrect way with the grenade. Maybe he was just looking for a setup and assume, assuming Rivers was going to hold shield there. But. Right, there we go. The rear egg once again will connect. And Utopian Ray off to a good lead right now. Looks like that uh, neutral shield poked. Possibly. Yeah, that very long lingering hitbox there, especially because he was falling through the platform. So could have caught him on the bottom end as well. Going to get the jump. Forcing the air dodge. Ooh, this is a bad spot for Rivers. And he has the jump used. And oh! I... That was smart. I did not think about that. Like, I thought he was just going to put an F-toe out at the top portion of up B, but because it was spaced so perfectly, you're like, all right, even if you get to the top, I have something that could trade with your hitbox anyways. Yeah, that was very, very uh, good stuff on the part of Utopia Ray. So 
Rivers on the back foot uh, once again. And again, that grenade conversion into the back air going to be big damage. And these grenades acting the same manner as the banana that Rivers was doing to him. Lingering just long enough to catch, but that has plenty of end lag. That's one thing you cannot let happen. Always punish that. Yep, yeah, there you go. The landing forward air. Uh, Rivers getting another ledge trap situation off of this. Oh yeah, he already used his upbeat, oh, and so you see, smart. he shook his head off because he realized he had already used it, and he felt it made a mistake there. That's gonna work in the favor of Rivers. Yeah, that mental lapse is gonna uh, put Utopian right in, de in the deficit right now. But let's see if Rivers uh, can continue his lead right now, because once again, Utopian Ray putting Rivers right back in the bear blender. And I like the fact that before, instead of going for a forward air, he decided oh to go for the nair. Oh, speaking of the blender, this man is getting absolutely cooked, and there's not much he can do about oh it. He's still for a full ride. He was already ready to hit the aggro option. Krom is a neutral bullet. Rip forced to side D back, that forward smash from across the way. It's going to provide great damage once again, despite the fact not killing. And, you know, this is just the, the derailment that comes from this. I love seeing Kazooie just come in and run, by the way. Uh, the derailment wow. of that entire game coming from that SD, really, and then just getting caught by the up there. You could see mentally as the game progressed after that stock, the Utopian Ray was already checked out. Yeah, like, you, you just hate to see those sort of things happen, man. It can really crush you mentally. Now, we play the other side of the coin of the counterpick mm -hmm. Ray game. Does Ray go back? to Palutena. No, okay. So it looks like he saw enough in that game where he's like, it wasn't the matchup that screwed me over. It was myself that screwed me over. So I'm going to give this a try because obviously, you know, because he already lost game one, the counter pick war would yeah. switch back to Diddy Kong Palutena anyway. And so. yeah, and also in the favor of Rivers as well in the next game, if Utopian Ray happens to win, he's stuck on that banjo. So he could be forced to have to, like, he can't go to that Palatina now to deal with maybe a, D a Diddy Kong counterpick. He has to fight his way around this. Yeah. So it looks like, you know, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. And right now, River's off to a very, very good start. And as long as Ray doesn't SD, you know, things can work out, uh, you know, better for him here. So Yeah, he had an excellent game prior to the SD right there. And River's taking full advantage of it. And as a competitor, even if you see your opponent start to check out like that, go full force. It's like, all right, you're going to play a little bit worse on defense because you made a mistake. I'm going to absolutely capitalize on it. Yeah, exactly. Just like that small, like, you know, break in your mentality. And it can really, really make swing the set in the favor of your opponent. And see Rivers once again putting on a clinic right now. Yeah, perfect edge guard situation there. Uh, that not swift enough to be able to go punish that uh, Wonder Wing, but that's one less off the charges. Now that's two off. Dash attack might kill. Nope, the battlefield corner going to keep him alive a little longer. There you go. Yep, the F tilt will hit the punish, the whiffed grab. So Rivers up big on this first stock right now. Utopian Ray, you know, trying to rebound here. Yeah, I think Rivers actually saw through and decided, oh, he's going to do it to oh, him. That was he's going to so get smart. the free stock at 47%, but barely anything on Utopian Ray. You'll take that every single time. Yeah, that was a great, just great situational awareness on the part of Rivers. He probably could have done it again. He could do it again. Oh, no. Yeah, he's a full stock up. If he does it again, that's just it for the tournament. There's nothing wrong with trying to utilize your extra resources here. Yeah, so Utopian Ray on the back foot right now. Gets the gentleman jab, but I think the big thing in this matchup that swung is that Rivers is doing a better job playing around the, the rear egg. Yeah. Like, once Utopian Ray throws it, he's just like, okay, I'm just going to full hop in and hit you because you don't really have much else of an answer, especially because your back's towards me and you can't do anything yeah, else. That was kind of catering to the point I was uh, getting ready to make before, before Rivers went and did what he did. Uh, he took wow. the forward smash and put it right in the face of Utopian Ray and closing it out kind of conf confidently there. You see Utopian Ray not feeling too good about that. And uh, Rivers moving himself that much closer to a much bigger portion of money going into sure. the Losers Finals. Yeah, and again, just a great game right here from Rivers, as you see right here. The forward air into the uh, the soaring slash, so huge right there. And again, that SD in the game in uh, game three, proving pivotal. Yeah. Uh, in the in you know uh, the demise of Utopia Ray right there. Yeah, really. Can we talk about the banjo. Just... Wait, hold on. Can we talk about the JoJo's pose the banjo did when he died at the end right there? He's just like, Chris, can I get that? <laughs> can I get the replay of that last kill one more time? Okay, bye. We want to show. <laughs> no, no, we're not allowed. Not a lot. We won't give it to us. Uh, it's but all good. something that uh, Rivers was doing. Uh, here we go again. Uh, something <laughs> Rivers was doing <laughs> like, before. Well, actually, he does a JoJo's pose. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed that. <laughs> 